Have you ever wondered why smoked bacon and cured sausages in the US have such a distinctive flavor? What is special about their processing that makes them so irresistibly delicious? Smoked bacon and cured sausages are two popular dishes in American cuisine, often appearing at breakfast and barbecues. With their distinctive flavor from the smoking and curing process, they combine modern technology with traditional methods to achieve exceptional quality. The production process of smoked bacon and cured sausages in the US is strictly regulated to ensure quality and flavor. Smoked bacon begins with the selection of fresh meat, which is cut into uniform pieces and then cured with salt, sugar, pepper, and spices for 12 to 48 hours at a low temperature. Next, the meat is smoked using oak, cherry, or maple wood for 4 to 12 hours at a temperature of 65 to 85 degrees Celsius to develop its signature flavor. After smoking, the bacon is quickly cooled, vacuum sealed, and stored at 0 to 4 degrees Celsius before distribution. Large-scale facilities can produce 5,000 to 10,000 kilograms per day to meet market demand. Cured sausages also go through a meticulous process. Fresh pork, beef, or poultry is cleaned and cut into 2 to 5 kilograms pieces, then cured with a mixture of salt 2 to 5% of the meat's weight, sugar, and spices for 24 to 72 hours at 2 to 4 degrees Celsius. After curing, the meat may be dried, smoked, or fermented to extend its shelf life. The final product is vacuum sealed or frozen at minus 18 degrees Celsius, allowing for storage of 6 to 12 months before reaching the market. Thanks to advanced processing techniques, smoked and cured meats are not only popular in the US, but also exported worldwide. So, after learning about the production process of smoked bacon and cured sausages, are you curious about how American farmers raise their pigs? If so, leave a one in the comments below. In the US, the pork industry operates under a modern model, utilizing advanced technology to ensure production efficiency and disease prevention. Pig farms typically use enclosed housing systems, maintaining temperatures between 18 to 24 degrees Celsius with proper ventilation to minimize the risk of bacterial and viral infections. Additionally, farming areas undergo regular disinfection to reduce disease transmission. Regarding space allocation, each market pig is raised in an area of 0.75 to 1.2 square meters, while sows have larger spaces of 1.5 to 2.2 square meters per animal to support reproduction and nursing. The pig's diet is scientifically designed to optimize growth and maintain health. Their feed consists mainly of 50 to 70% corn and 20 to 30% soybeans, supplemented with vitamins and minerals to boost immunity and improve meat quality. Some farms also incorporate fish meal and fiber to enhance nutrition and support digestion. In terms of reproduction, sows begin breeding at around 8 to 9 months old 
producing 2 to 2.5 litres per year, with each litter averaging 10 to 14 piglets. Newborn piglets nurse for about 21 to 28 days before transitioning to weaning and solid feed. By 5.5 to 6 months of age, when they reach 110 to 130 kilograms, market pigs are ready for processing and distribution. Pigs are highly susceptible to various diseases, including African swine fever, porcine reproductive and respiratory syndrome, mycoplasma pneumonia, E. coli diarrhea, and swine flu. To prevent infections, farms implement regular vaccination programs, maintain strict hygiene standards, monitor feed sources, and isolate sick pigs to prevent outbreaks. Some farms also adopt biosecurity measures, such as restricting farm access and using air filtration systems to protect pigs from external pathogens. By leveraging advanced technology and rigorous care practices, the U.S. pork industry not only meets domestic consumption needs, but also plays a significant role in global pork exports. Smoked bacon and cured sausages in the U.S. undergo a process of ingredient selection, seasoning, smoking, or drying, which extends shelf life and enhances their distinct flavor. This method is essential in American cuisine, with popular dishes such as bacon and sausages. Today, thanks to advancements in food technology, these products are not only widely consumed domestically, but are also beloved worldwide, becoming an integral part of modern cuisine. Similarly, alongside the meat processing industry, American agriculture thrives with a variety of crops, among which strawberries hold a significant position. With modern cultivation techniques and high yields, strawberries not only satisfy domestic demand, but are also extensively exported. The strawberry industry in the U.S. has grown significantly with modern farming methods, primarily using two cultivation techniques, open field farming with plastic mulch and greenhouse farming for climate control. California leads the industry, accounting for over 90% of the country's strawberry production, with more than 14,000 hectares of farmland. Other states, such as Florida, Oregon, and North Carolina, also contribute to production, but on a smaller scale. Strawberries thrive in temperate climates, with an ideal temperature range of 10 to 26 degrees Celsius and well-aerated, organic-rich soil. With drip irrigation systems and advanced farming techniques, each hectare can yield 50 to 70 metric tons of strawberries per year. The fruit is sold domestically and exported to Canada, Mexico, and Japan, with an annual export value reaching $500 million. The cultivation and care of strawberries in the U.S. follow strict procedures to ensure high yields and superior quality. First, the soil is carefully prepared with organic fertilizers at a rate of 20 to 30 metric tons per hectare to enrich nutrients and improve soil structure.
Additionally, farms use plastic mulch to retain moisture, suppress weeds, and protect plants. Strawberry varieties are carefully selected, focusing on high-yielding 50 to 70 metric tons to hectare, disease-resistant types that adapt well to regional climates. During cultivation, drip irrigation is widely used to efficiently supply water while conserving resources, with an average consumption of 200 to 300 liters per hectare per day. Plants are supplemented with organic fertilizers and essential minerals such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium at different growth stages. For pest control, farms prioritize biological methods, using natural predators and bio-based treatments instead of chemical pesticides to minimize environmental impact. Crop rotation is also practiced to maintain soil fertility and prevent disease outbreaks. The harvesting process is done manually, with workers picking approximately 20 to 30 kilograms of strawberries per hour to avoid damaging the fruit. After harvesting, strawberries are rapidly cooled to 0 to 2 degrees Celsius to maintain freshness and extend shelf life to 7 to 10 days. The strawberries are then distributed to supermarkets as fresh fruit or processed into jam, juice, frozen strawberries, and other products for export to major markets such as Canada, Mexico, Japan, and Europe, with an annual export value reaching $500 million. Thanks to advanced production techniques and strict quality control, American strawberries consistently meet high standards and are highly sought after worldwide. American strawberries are widely consumed both domestically and internationally due to their high quality and advanced production processes. In the domestic market, they are primarily distributed to supermarkets, restaurants, and the food industry, where they are processed into jams, juices, confectionery, and frozen products. Additionally, the US is one of the world's largest strawberry exporters, with key markets including Canada, Mexico, Japan, and South Korea. With strong demand, the export value of U.S. strawberries exceeds $500 million annually, making a significant contribution to agriculture and the national economy. The strawberry industry plays a vital role in the U.S. economy, benefiting from modern technology that ensures consistent quality and stable yields. With advanced cultivation techniques, American strawberries not only fulfill domestic demand, but also expand into global markets, reinforcing the country's leading position in strawberry exports.